the No Fate channel, checking in. And today I am going to tell you, I am going to show you, and we are going to make a 511 TAC Tech weighted plate carrier for under $50. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review a gym accessory, a piece of gym equipment, or we just have a bit of a discussion on how you can make the most out of your own home gym on every episode. So today we're gonna to be talking about the 511 TAC Tech weighted plate carrier. Whew. It sounds expensive and it sure is. If you go to rogue.com, uh, you will see that it often is priced at $200 and that's before you add any weight or shipping to it. That thing is super, super expensive. And I think by the time you put the stuff in your cart and you get it sent to you and mailed to you, because of course you can't pick it up in Ohio these days, it ends up being close to $300 now. Obviously, it is a good quality item, but is that $300 worth it? And the answer is no. And the reason the answer is no is because you can make it for under $50, even in 2020, where gym equipment is like gold. Uh, you can make that 511 TAC Tech plate carrier for under $50. And I'm going to show you how. Let's go over what you are going to need in order to make your own home weighted vest good as anything else that you're going to find on rogue.com for under $50. First, coming in as free cardboard. You are going to need cardboard, ideally something that's not completely crushed, but it's not going to matter. Um, the more cardboard, the better, because then it allows you to have a little bit of a learning curve, but you're going to need cardboard. The second thing you are going to need is you're going to need a form in order to cut out said cardboard. Now you can use an existing plate. If you already have an existing plate for a weighted vest, you can use this. But if you're on a budget, you probably don't already have one of these. You can get a foam pad that is probably going to come with the weighted the, the plate carrier that I'm going to tell you to buy. Um, you can use that foam pad as well, or you could just measure it out yourself and then just do trial and error. But for me, I found that using this foam pad was the best way to go because this is what came with the, um, the plate carrier that I'm going to show you to purchase in a second. Also, that was free. Also, next, you're going to need duct tape, good old duct tape. I'm assuming if you're a red-blooded American, you probably already have some duct tape. So I'm going to assume this is free too in terms of the cost. You're going to need scissors, which you probably have at home already a marker for stenciling purposes, and then the weight. Now, oftentimes weight is expensive, especially in 2020, but I was still able to find these cap 10 pound weights on walmart.com for $8. They still had them for $8. They still can be found and they can be found brand new. If you can get them cheap, even better. If you can get them cheaper used, go for it. But I was able to find a 10 pound one for $8 and you're gonna need two. So now we're at 16 dollars obviously if you're not as strong and don't want a 20 pound vest you could just get a five pounder for each side and now you get a 10 pound vest also you're going to need to get yourself a vest right oftentimes you go online and there's like i don't know 200 300 different types of plate carrying vests out there all different shapes sizes colors logos stuff and they all range in price now Obviously, you don't want to spend $200 on yours. And if you spend $100, you might get a nice one, but it's still $100. Do you need to spend all that money? I might argue no. Personally, for my home gym, because of my workouts, I use a weighted vest once or twice a week. But many of you, most of you, let's be honest, almost all of you would be lucky to use a weighted vest once a month. That's 12 times a year at most. Some of you just break out that weighted vest for Murph on Memorial Day to do that hero wad, and that's just fine, which means even more reason that you don't need a super expensive weighted vest. This bad boy right here, 3650amazon.com. I'll put a picture of it right here, and I will drop a link in the description below. 3650 and even in the days of the Rona, an amazing price. You might be able to find it for less, or you might be able to find a cheaper version, but here we go, 3650 plus the $16. We are now at $48. We're under $50. Yep, under $50. Okay, so you're going to get this, and then you're going to size it appropriately for yourself. The sizing isn't as important as what we're going to do next, but I will say for a nice tight fit, B 
be ready to take some time to size. A lot of people get it, they just throw it on and they're like, why isn't it as comfortable as it could be? Well, this has like three different ways to size it. So make sure that you take the time to size it appropriately because then it's gonna fit you just as good as a 511 Tac Tech at a fourth, if not maybe like a sixth of the price, especially after shipping. Here are the steps that you need to know in order to make your sub $50 plate carrier, weighted vest, whatever you want to call it. Step number one is to take your form, whatever it may be, and cut out four different versions of this form. Keep in mind the use trial and error. So cut it out, see if it fits inside your plate carrier, see if it fits okay with enough room for the other side of it and the 10 pound plate that we're gonna add in. But you know, don't be afraid to have different iterations of it, trial and error to make sure that you get it right. But you're gonna need four of these cut out. Then you're gonna take your weight and you are gonna sandwich them between two of these, right? Sandwich, right? This is gonna be the meat with the bread on both sides. And then you're going to tape them down, tape it shut with your duct tape. The result should be two of these. It should look something like this and they should fit very snugly inside your plate carrier, but it's not done. If you want a 511 TAC Tech weighted plate carrier for under $50, you need the final step. Boom, now it's like a $300 plate carrier, huh? You take these two of these you have, you stick one in the front, one in the back, you slap it on and you are good to go. But how does it fit? How does it feel? How does it handle? I know you're saying, $50 plate carrier is not going to handle or feel as good as the $300 plate carrier and maybe not but let's insert some of this random footage of me using this plate carrier doing all sorts of not impressive exercise no i'm not a writer okay As I'm sure you were able to glean from that under impressive montage of me exercising with this weighted vest, it fits really well. Even though I'm an old dad, I still get it done. But this thing fits exceptionally well for that price tag and there was no give. And again, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I got those plates to 
fit extremely snugly after trial and error and i made sure to fit the vest correctly um, taking the time on the front end so that it was nice and snug on the back end overall for under 50 dollars, this thing is a gem it's going to hold up and for many of you who only bust this thing out once a month it is going to do the job exceptionally well and when i say bust it out once a month I'm not even talking Murph once a month. I'm talking like you bust this thing out and you might do like five minutes worth of exercise with the plated plate carrier on with the weighted vest on and that's it. And keep in mind, you don't have to make this thing 20 pounds. If you want to go lighter, you can. Um, and if you really want to try to sneak in some extra weight, you probably could too with a little bit of ingenuity. Overall, for under $50, this thing is a steal. It's going to last you probably a lot longer than you want it to. And uh, you're going to be all the better for not having to dish out upwards of $300. If you have any questions regarding this $50 511 TAC Tech plate carrier from Rogue.com, hey, drop it in the comments below and I'll get it answered as quickly as I can. Hopefully you found this informative. Hopefully you found this beneficial. And hopefully you got a good laugh. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching. And don't save anything for the trip back.